York City firefighter who was shot during a Staten Island standoff is recovering in the hospital this morning. He was searching for survivors in a house filled with smoke when police say a gunman inside suddenly opened fire. Six hours later, police shot and killed that suspect. Eyewitness News reporter Marcus Solis is live outside of Richmond University Medical Center in West Brighton. Good morning again, Marcus. Good morning, Michelle and Rob. The first firefighter shot in the line of duty in over 20 years, Lieutenant James Hayes, hit twice, but he is expected to be okay. He remains in stable condition. The 53-year-old was shot yesterday morning when police called the fire department to assist during a standoff with a suspect. Uh, Hayes decided to go in, try and find the source of smoke that was coming from that apartment, and went in thinking the suspect might have been overcome because he had stopped talking to police. Hayes went in, crouched down low, and ended up getting hit by bullets fired by that suspect who is hiding in a bathroom. Uh, now, early yesterday morning, it was that task force of U.S. Marshals and NYPD officers. They went to arrest Garland Tyree on a probation violation. The gang leader and ex-con with a long arrest record kept police at bay for six hours. Tyree heavily armed with handguns and a fully automatic AK-47. There were extensive negotiations and police even sent a helicopter to Delaware to bring his mother to the scene, all in an attempt to end things peacefully. His main indicator was that he would surrender. Uh, those were his words. He would surrender when his mom came to the scene, physically to the scene. He said, Mom, I'm coming out. He told his sister he was coming out. Well, police say he did come out fire. Uh, he did come out, but he came out firing that automatic weapon, and that is when police returned fire. The suspect shot and killed. No one else hurt except for Lieutenant Hayes. He remains hospitalized. No word yet on when he'll be released, but again, he is in stable condition. And we're live in West Brighton. Marcus Solis, Channel 7 mm -hmm. Eyewitness News.